Are you wondering if you should click on the scary little Windows logo and download Windows 10? Well fear not, this video will tell you all you need to know. Stick around! Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So in this video I'm going to cover what's new, what's different, what's awesome and what's not so great about Windows 10 and whether you should get it. So at the end of this video I hope you'll have that decision made. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is the start bar and start menu. The start bar has a search bar in it which we'll talk about in a second and the start menu still has all the Windows 8 tiles but doesn't completely take over the screen like Windows 7 which is really really nice. If you don't like those tiles you can right click and unpin them which is also really nice as well. Now that search bar allows you to not only search your files but also the internet by default it's Bing but we're not sure if we can change that yet and will by default apparently have something called Cortana in it and Cortana is basically the digital assistant um, kind of like Siri and Google now but apparently it's going to be better and it's going to have a few different things as well so we'll see when that comes out. Now the one thing that uh, we're going to talk about here is actually Microsoft Edge. It's the new browser. It takes over from Internet Explorer and is apparently really cool. Uh, really cool. So apparently it's faster, and I've seen that personally. Um, it also is apparently going to have more plugins. You can do things like notes and draw on the screen. Um, and all that sort of stuff is quite cool, but personally I'm going to stick with Firefox and Chrome just because that's what I'm used to. Now, some of the other features are things like uh, ta uh, Snap Assist, which basically, instead of just snapping and then having to find your, you know, your whatever window you want to put next to it, so say Word and a, you know, web browser, it'll automatically ask you if you have things open, do you want to put this next to it? So if you snap something to the side of the screen, it will then say, he hey, here's this other thing, do you want to put that there as well? And we'll automatically put that window window to their right size. You can also snap up to four things on the screen at one time now which is really nice and you can do any combination of you know half and a quarter and stuff like that and it will ask you you know uh, if you want to put something in that quarter space that's free and all that sort of cool stuff. Now the other really cool feature is something called Task View. It's something that's ha uh, you know been in Linux and OS X for a really long time and it's that button between the Microsoft Edge browser and the search bar and it basically allows you to have virtual desktops. Don't worry it's not that scary it basically means that you can have things like you know uh, word and excel and you know maybe your company's intranet uh, page open on one um, desktop and then maybe a file copying or if you're maybe a, a designer of some sort you can have you know fire uh, fireworks or uh, photoshop or illustrator open on another desktop and it means that you don't have to sort of search through to find things which is really nice the other thing that's quite cool is that you be prompted to give a PIN for Windows and that basically acts as your universal password for everything, which is actually really nice and really simple to use. The notifications has been really upgraded and it. it looks really awesome actually. It's a simple slide in thing, very similar to OS X, but has basically all the icons and stuff that you could possibly need, um, you know, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all that sort of stuff, quiet mode, airplane mode and all that sort of stuff like that. You even get a VPN option and also the, you know, things like Wi-Fi and a uh, sound and battery life all swiping from the bottom in a nice way as opposed to just a random window that pops up so I really like that style so overall, personally, I'm going to be upgrading to Windows 10 on Wednesday, and I really think you should as well. It's obviously, you know, generally speaking, people say that you'll be beta testing for Windows, and while that may be true to an extent, you will. Uh, I've been really surprised of how well uh, Microsoft has been handing out copies to developers and stuff like that, so I think support will really be there for Windows 10, and I'm really looking forward to playing with this when it's fully launched. I reckon that Cortana will be a really nice addition, and once you're available to turn that button on, I reckon as I said it will be really awesome. I really do think that this is a great operating system that you should definitely check it out and give it a shot even if it's on maybe only your work PC or only on your home PC and you know so you keep one as Windows 7 or Windows 8 but I really think you should check it out and see what you think of it and definitely click that button and hit download. So thanks for watching, if you like this video hit the like button, subscribe and we will see you all in the next video. So thanks for watching this Titan GB video. Uh, you've probably heard enough of me already, so I'm going to finish off by saying please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a hell of a lot, and it means that just the world to us in general. Please do feel free to check out some of our recent videos both down below. Um, they're uh, more recent ones and they're certainly awesome. Uh, feel free to click my face for the website and click all the links over there for our Amazon affiliate uh, link, our social media and also our YouTube channel as well. Other than that, as I said, please subscribe, like, share, favourite and all the other many things possible and we'll see you all in the next video.